Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurkut. Today we're making a fried chicken and we're serving it with a pulpy bear and lemon mayonnaise. And the fried chicken is kind of spiced with Arabic spices. It's an Arabic influence in the whole dish. But before we have a look at the ingredients we have here on the board, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button if you're not doing so yet, and check the bell icon so that you get notifications when new content comes online every Tuesday. But now, without further ado, let's have a look at the ingredients. So you can't see them, but this is the chicken in the brine. So I'll show you first of all how we did that. Everything we need for the marinade is here. We have sumac, tatar, salt, chicken thighs, and buttermilk. Well, I couldn't get hold of buttermilk, so it's kind of a kefir mix, but it's similar sour. It, it will do a similar job to the chicken, but get buttermilk if you can. We'll start with prepping the chicken. And for this dish, we don't want the skin, so we'll take that off. You can just pull it off normally. Put it to the side. Just take a little bit of the excess fat, excess fat. And now I'm going to split them in the middle. And I think that's a nice piece to have as fried chicken. You can make them smaller if you want or you can keep them bigger if you want. Now I'm just cutting off everything that, like when you go over it with your fingers like this, everything that feels hard, you should cut away. Because it's usually cartilage. Like there's a little bit. And that's all you need to do. So prep all your chicken and then we'll put them in the marinade. Our chicken is prepped, cleaned out, took the skin off, halved it, and those are thighs. Now we're putting the sumac, the satar, and the salt into the buttermilk. And I don't really have measurements. It's important that the mixture has a lot of taste. Could be almost over seasoned. Now I'll try this. Mm. Could even use a bit more. Put some more satar and some more salt. And satar, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but it's kind of a spice mix. There's some mint in there, some thyme, and some other good stuff. Give it another taste. Mm, perfect. Now all we have to do is to put our chicken in the liquid. And then we'll put this in the fridge, minimum of four hours, but you can do it overnight. So you can prepare this nicely in advance. Make sure that everything is in the liquid. And that's how we marinate the chicken. Now, four hours they have been in, which is enough, but you could, as I said, leave it overnight. Uh, we need some flour, some panko. We're doing a flour, panko flour mix for the um, breading. We need some more sumac, some more satar, and some more salt. We have our pol bibea and lemon mayonnaise. I'll show you how we did that. Now for our mayonnaise, we're making it with an egg yolk, some pork bibel, pinch of salt, zest, a little bit of zest,
and a little bit of lemon juice. So instead of vinegar, we're putting lemon juice. And we start by mixing all of this up first. And now the neutral oil. As always with mayonnaise, little by little at the start. Let's give this a little try. It needs a bit more salt and a bit more lemon juice. Do a pinch of salt first. Let's see if I can manage this without dropping the whole thing. Yes, I could. Is it gonna stand? Yes. And we continue. Oh, and magic. Different bowl and now hand whisking. Uh, I'll let you in on a secret. The mayonnaise split, it's 35 degrees and it was just too hot with the machine. So what you can do if your mayonnaise splits is you take a fresh bowl with a new egg yolk and then you take the split mayonnaise and add it like you're adding oil, little by little, and then you get back to the mayonnaise. So this is our split mayonnaise that we saved. And it took quite a long time because I didn't have any eggs anymore. So I had to go quickly to the store, buy eggs, come back and continue. Mm. A little bit more salt. Another good pinch. A little bit more oil. Another try. Nice fresh sourness from the lemon. A little bit of heat from the polpi bear. This is perfect. So we'll just put this aside now. And that's the mayonnaise. And even with a trick, how to save a split one. And last but not least, we just have some garden crest to decorate. But we'll start with mixing together the, the flour and the, the, the spices for the breading. So we got ourselves a bigger bowl and we'll mix everything in here. And there's no measurement here, I'm just doing it by feel. I would say it's two tablespoons of satar, two tablespoons of sumac and a tablespoon of salt. And we'll also put a couple of tablespoons of the brine in here. that makes it all together. Do with a hand that's easier. And the idea of putting some of the brine in is to get kind of more of a more of a covering, more like more of a almost a dough. Um, now if you don't like it, just leave it out. But I kind of like it. It gets like a real breading on the chicken almost. So that's ready. We'll start with four pieces. Make sure you bread them. The breading goes pretty much everywhere. And then behind me there you see the big pot that's full of deep fat frying oil, and we're bringing that up to heat or to temperature. Ideal is around 180 degrees. So we breaded those four pieces. Now it's time to move over there to fry them up. So this is how I normally check if the oil is ready. I hope you can see, but I will try to zoom in how it bubbles. It's just a normal box standard chopstick. And if it bubbles nicely, then the oil is ready. And now we're ready. So we'll put our chicken in. Remember, 
remember to, if you don't have a deep fat fryer, use a pot with really high edges. Just moving them around a bit. And in the meantime, you can prepare some kitchen paper that we can put them on after they're done. So they can suck up some of the, some of the fat. And we're after a nice golden color. It smells beautifully. I think we're slowly getting there. Maybe another half a minute. That's pretty perfect. So we'll take them now onto the paper. And we're ready to serve them up. So just move the camera and I'll see you in a bit. So we're ready to serve it up. Our chicken's on the paper. The paper soaks the fat up so it's not too much fat. But before I serve this, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just below there, just hit it. Thank you, because it really helps to get my content out to a wider audience. But now let's plate this up. Like so. Now for our mayonnaise. Just get it all on there. And then just a little bit of green as well. Just adds a bit of color. This one, I mean, this doesn't really taste like anything, right? So it doesn't add much to the dish, but you eat with your eye, so why not? Like that. And that's our fried chicken with our pulpy bear and lemon mayonnaise. Now let's give it a try. So let's get in here. Mm. Mm. It's so tender. It's cra crazy how much tenderness brining actually adds to the chicken. And the lemon adds a nice sourness that kind of compensates the fattiness of the dish. I pull a bit of spice. Mm. This is really, really nice. And so simple. I mean, you need a bit of time for the brining, minimum four hours. But if you have that, it's an excellent dish. Mm. As always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you will make the dish. If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you don't, let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments. And if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so. Click the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. But that's it for this time. 35 degrees. I'm sweating. I need to finish this. And then I need to go have a dip. Take care. Bye-bye.